what is going on YouTube you're here from MJ Tech today coming with another video here of the Phantom 85 CC motor that I got from bicycleengines.com so I'm here to try to find a solution uh, the bushing that comes stock with this engine or motor is absolutely garbage which is this one right here it has like a coating on the inside that just uh, came apart it was literally just coming apart completely getting destroyed luckily I heard a rattle noise coming from the engine as a matter of fact if you hear this clip right now you can definitely hear it The noise was just more than obvious and then upon inspection I noticed that this thing was just coming apart and I decided to find a proper bushing for it now after some research on Facebook uh, Google so on and so forth I came across this gentleman I have known him before but I didn't know he created this particular bushing his name is Ryan Derrick his website will be provided down below and for about 22 bucks you can get a replacement bushing this is made of proper material which is copper and it is all a one piece if you look here at the old one uh, this one uh, you can see that it came together right here so it is one piece but it looks uh, cheap it is not well made I wish you guys could see this better here through the camera but yes there's a big difference between both and the inner um, size of this will be 12 millimeters the outer will be 14 millimeters and I think it's by 14 millimeters or maybe a little bit uh, wider than that because uh, it doesn't seem like it is the same size as the one that was here before I'm assuming that this is maybe like 15 or 16 millimeters but it still fits on here and uh, it goes in like this and then of course the piston pin will go in here okay and now guys I gotta tell you that there's zero play when I'm telling you zero play I mean it there's no play here whatsoever and that should take care of that noise that I was hearing it should take care of that blow up but now a lot of people are complaining well not a lot of people some people have had issues with the uh, piston ring getting caught up here with the intake uh, port and the solution for that based on other youtubers that I've seen and people who make these motors is to use the MS380 piston so with that particular piston replacement you either have to drill a hole in the piston to create that effect of having a window piston or you would just have to get a uh, person to do that for you maybe Ryan Derrick can start working on this again the MS380 piston I don't have it in hand unfortunately but it has to be windowed uh, so that we can get that you know extra power extra fuel flow it will help the motor a lot and um, but yes in this particular cylinder I just decided to clean it up I didn't port it I didn't uh, change anything I just cleaned the rough surface of it here on the exhaust side and I also did the same thing here from the uh, intake side so again I was able to save this particular motor from uh, blowing up but as you can tell it was starting to scar up that's because of all the vibration um, from that uh, bushing that it was causing this motor was probably about to blow up and also I ordered uh, new gaskets here for the uh, bottom side of the cylinder I got the double gaskets by the way the bottom end of this motor is the YD100 so here without further ado let's go ahead and get everything reassembled here and back on the bike and let's uh, test it out and see if it works
already guys so we got here the bike all set up and ready to go once again here with the phantom 85 as you guys saw already i replaced the bushing inside and now the rattling noise has decreased quite dramatically but now these motors even from when i used to get them from the builders with the ms 440 and i got the one with the ms 460 i think it's the one with the 56 millimeter piston they like to rattle a little bit but now uh, this one does rattle just a tad bit but it's not as bad as before so it was definitely the bushing that it was uh, wearing out prematurely and that got resolved now so yes i got that again cleaned the ports got the g to read with the intake and the carburetor i went back here to the upgraded cdi from the kit i did replace it to another one that i had around but no, I went ahead and installed it back, knowing that this was not the issue for four stroking. Then I upgraded here the spark plug. This is the NGK a B6HS. And um, it fits perfectly well. It's actually uh, starting a little faster now in uh, cold starts. So I'm happy about that. As you know, I got the 415H chain as an update. Okay. And for the bike itself, you guys already saw a video on all the updates that I've done to the bike. This is the Hyper Cruiser, and I modified everything. I got the 12 gauge uh, rims, and I got the front suspension, and so on and so forth. But here I have the RM85 pipe that I welded myself, and actually the welds are holding up pretty nicely back here, as you can observe right there. They're holding very nicely, no issues whatsoever. And this pipe actually gives it a lot of power. I went ahead and used this mount that came with the pipe and then I bought this clamp on 22 millimeter little bracket just to hold this in place and it works actually quite well. But I also got this crossbar for a handlebar and I got two of these clamp on mounts just like the one you see here but now it's upside down and I was able to attach it here to this pipe and that gives it extra support on the back. I welded on the silencer on it and this helps dramatically with the loud noise and I'm telling you guys dramatically so that's uh, definitely something that I could recommend if you guys live in a uh, apartment complex area or maybe a townhouse like I am right now. Uh, this will help with uh, you keeping the neighbors at ease. I got this cone style filter from Amazon as well. This one is not uh, uh, you know very protective but it keeps uh, major debris from going inside of the reed right here so that's why I have it but it breathes quite well and the more air goes through here the more power you get I did replace the clutch plate I got Ryan Derrick's clutch plate I got the clay uh, pads for it and uh, it seems to be holding quite well so far and uh, yeah I also replaced here the um, the hose I got a thicker hose, better quality one, and I eliminated that filter just for better fuel flow. Inside here, I live in West Palm Beach, Florida, in case a lot of you guys are having an issue uh, tuning this carburetor. Well, the needle is at the second slot from the top. It's at the second slot, that's for the needle. The um, pilot jet, I have it at a number 20 with uh, two turns out on the air screw and that gave me a pretty good idle of course you have to adjust the idle screw as well but you do that once your bike warms up that's very easy to do then the main jet right now I have a 72 on it but I think I'm gonna go down to a 70 or 68 on this particular Mikuni carburetor and I think that's gonna give me a much better uh, top end right now I think I'm running a little rich but uh, yes guys other than that uh, everything else is exactly as I explained on the previous video this bike came out to be quite cool and of course we're gonna go out now for a ride test it out I'm not going to do a max speed test yet because this motor broke too soon before the break-in so believe it or not it is still breaking in but damn it has a lot of power guys I already tested it and this thing screams power so let's go for a ride test it out and I'll be right back that also adjusts the brakes a little bit.
again guys i'm not trying to go hard on it yet the thing is still breaking in That was a sweet little run right there guys. Probably running a little hot. Hey, because of my fuel uh, mixture. Just gonna head on back. We did about 40, 42. Here we have it guys, everything looks good in there, it's a little bit of a leak right here in this gasket. So far it seems like it's holding up, everything looks pretty good. Well guys there we have it, we just hit about 42 miles on it, again it is not uh, fully broken yet or broken in yet. As I've been saying, I don't want to kill it. Um, you don't have uh, much replacements for this particular motor. But like I said, everything seems to be working quite okay, especially with this pipe. It definitely adds a lot of power. I didn't uh, get to the power band yet because like I said, I've been breaking in. So 
I was giving it, I would say a little bit more than half a throttle. Um, for example, this goes all the way in up to back here and I was about right there. So I was just giving it a little bit more than half, but uh, yeah, uh, pretty cool. Let me know if you guys uh, want to see uh, more videos as the uh, speed changes when it breaks in completely. Um, also, I plan to decrease the main jet a little bit to a 70. Right now I have a 72 on the main. Uh, but yeah, let me know down below what you guys think. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and share. And click on the bell icon so that you don't miss future videos like this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.